Okay, so I'm gonna take the deck off today. Uh, if I'm doing this correctly, hopefully. First thing you should do is take your deck, uh, the deck height adjustment, set it down here. And then you're gonna need to set your wheels. If you look, there should be a, a hole in here. Uh, where is it? set it up all the way. I think it's like that. I think you're supposed to set them up as high as you can get them. Just like that. So I'm going to do that to all four. So once you got your uh, wheels here all set up, you run your deck down to the lowest setting just like that. You don't probably have to, but it's probably safer to turn the machine off. And then in the back here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe if I move it like that. It's a drive shaft we got to get to. We're going to take that off. The drive shaft runs the uh, the deck. It's just a quick quick disconnect in the back. If you just pull pull back on the collar, the whole thing will slide back. Just like that. Now that's off. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you can see there I just disconnected the PTO. Um, the next part here, I think in the front, we got let's see. No, that's not right. We got stuff in the back here. We gotta come around to the other side, I think. Okay, so on this side here, we have this little part here, and in order to get that loose, we need to Pull up on this, I believe. Right? Or not? Where's the? Yeah, that's got to come down. What's the? I got to press for that. Uh, let me check here once. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here because I think this might be easier. I'm gonna pull this out. It'll drop the front, so now this bar we can actually take out. I think you got to take that bar out in order to drive over the deck without damaging anything. So we got that off. Now I still gotta figure out how this part right here, because that's what's holding the deck in right now. So I gotta somehow, oh, there we go. So that's what we have to do. You had to take that front bar off first and drop this. Now those pins are out. So if we, if we back up some, we'll run that out. And then uh, I can be able to lift this up and it should clear. So let's try that. Basically you're just going to drive up and over. You should really have a flat surface to do this.
All right, so there's the deck off. This is the PTO that I was talking about. It's just got a collar here you pull back. And then uh, this is the gearbox I'm talking about. If you don't have your lifting arms all the way up, you'll actually catch that. So you just gotta watch that. You can actually, with the four-wheel drive unit, you can either back off or, or drive forward. I prefer to drive forward though. You just gotta make sure that your PTO isn't hung up. Okay, so to get it set for the snowblower, there's really uh, one attachment that you sort of have to muscle depending on where you have it. And it's like the quick attachment bracket here. After you get this on, just about anything is pretty simple. So you got two hydraulic hoses, a black and a green, and then you got some uh, stuff. So you got this bar here, comes across, that's just going to sit. Oops, I'm in the way here. So you got two hydraulic hoses, you got this bar here that's just going to sit in this loop. I'll come around to this side. So that just sits on there. Like that. And then there's just uh, quick pins that you just pull back on each side. Make sure that they're in. That's that. Hoses are pretty self-explanatory. I've done hydraulic hoses before. Um, there's a little guard to keep them away from the hot exhaust. And then you got uh, another one here. Let me get the camera moved here. There you go, that's not too bad, if that stays there. So those are your hoses. You should make sure that they're clean, so you're not uh, putting any dirt in your lines. All you're going to do is pull back. Pull back on the one that's receiving on the machine. Pull, double check it, and you can take the caps and put them together to keep them from getting too dirty. Black one's on the top here too. So this is like the longest part of the setup here is this part right here to put the snowboard on. Everything else is pretty quick. Alright. So there are the hoses connected, here's your bracket in the front, and then we got the snowblower here, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Alright, what I like to do is drive the machine up there. can see here when this uh, roll pin is tight against the bracket here so the disconnect you just pull this back and it rests in this little slot that's in there so and that's the PTO that I put on that one you got to kind of watch so you don't get it hooked 
when you're putting it together there. And then we got two more hoses and then the long PTO shaft here that goes uh, to the rear of the machine. Okay, so the hoses, this runs the uh, hydraulic hoses run the shoes. Yeah, all you is matching up colors again, gray to gray. Again, make sure that you're not getting any uh, dirt in there. There we go. And then up here, move the two gray caps together. Here's our yellow. Do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, so just the way I have it laid out is the way that the uh, drive shaft goes. So there's a part in the front here, this front part here that just slides over the front drive shaft. That's basically just a pass through, so you don't have one long drive shaft from the uh, front of the machine or the blower all the way. And you can slide that on as far as you want. And in the same spot that you took the one off in the back here, I'm just gonna put that on. I don't know. My hands are pretty greasy, but I can't So there you can see this is a shaft. This is your coupler here. I'm attempting to do this one-handed. Uh, let's see. Where's my coupler back? Looks like it could be. This would be way easier if it was uh, two hands right now. Oh, boy, I almost had it too. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to fiddle with that. I'm not going to lie, I would have been more impressed with myself had I got this on one-handed. Um, two hands makes it much easier. You pull back on the collar and then just use the other hand and push it on. And it just, once it pushes on you here, it, it snaps. It doesn't come off. So that's it. That is the... Uh, X738 John Deere 54 inch deck removal and uh, what is this a 44 47 inch blower so I'll take it outside and run it for you let's see what it does how it all works oh one other thing I almost forgot uh, because you're running that extra set of hydraulic hoses there's a proportional valve that you got to change and uh, we're right here. So back here, I don't know if you can see this or not, there's a knob right here. That knob you have to turn, I don't know, I don't know which way it is. It's the opposite way of whatever way it was. Because for the lawnmower deck, you don't use that set. So I think this turns off your lifting arms for the deck. And then puts all your hydraulics through here instead. Because, you know, your deck lift doesn't use... Hmm, what doesn't it use? Well, you don't use any of these on your deck. But if you had some sort of other attachment, you could run it like the top two or whatever, this front, uh, if you had like a brush or broom or something. So yeah, just make sure you do the proportional valve. I think it still works. I just don't think you have uh, the same amount of uh, hydraulic pressure or power. All right, so here it is. That's in the uh, down position. Then that's all the way down. So you just want to check, make sure your hoses aren't too close to the exhaust. Make sure they're not binding up in here, gonna pinch on anything. Also, your PTO shaft, make sure that this uh, little holding uh, rod there doesn't hit that when it's spinning. So it looks like when it's all the way up rotation it's pretty 
quick. Let's uh, see if we can start the blower. Uh, or not. Right here I'm not real keen on. I'm just gonna lift that out of the way. That really makes me nervous that I'm gonna end up hitting that on something. There you go, there it is.